So Todd, your, your first season in charge of Bath Rugby, just how do you feel it's, it's gone? Yeah, it feels really good. It's, um, yeah, I really, really didn't want this um, season to end. It's been a real pleasure, to be honest. I've really enjoyed the challenges along the way. It's, um, you know, I can't help but think that a great um, bunch of guys we've got. We're very lucky to have the quality of the players that we have and the good character men. And I'm really excited about, you know, the possibilities of where we can take the squad because we've got everything we need and you know, we've had a really good learning curve this year. It's obviously part of the game, but we've had to deal with, contend with a lot of uh, injuries this season. Um, but but what are the key areas that you're hoping to improve upon for for next season? I think um, you know, this year, like we actually changed a lot. Like coming, two people coming in and have a big influence um, over the style of rugby that we play, and of course, with the players have been ingrained in certain styles. So there's been a lot of change and a lot of growth, and um, and just. Even to the point where you know we had a lot of injuries, but we still believed in the depth of the squad that the guys that we brought in we trusted uh, to play well, and we did. You know, probably a little bit of inconsistency at times was, was probably a real challenge. But I think um, I think overall we're, we're, we're made, we've made a hell of a lot of progress. And you mentioned the guys that we brought in there, um, but has there been anyone um, in particular that stood out for you this season? Yeah, really impressed by, you know, like player of the player of the year was obviously Nathan Cadd and you know, I don't think I've ever seen a stronger Lucy prop. I mean the guy is absolutely uh, a machine, isn't he? You know, he, he uh, played really well like but then I go through the whole team and I think that every every one of those guys in their own way have really stepped up and have got better and you know, at times I've had to de deal with a lot of injuries and inconsistencies but you know, I, I get excited when I when I when I say the names of our, of our players, I mean, like Nathan Katz won, and then you've got the likes of Ross Batty and Tom Dunn. Tom Dunn was exceptional this year when he played. He's just so robust and tough, and young Jack Walker's on the way. And, you know, probably having two tight heads, um, you know, injured, you know, we saw Kane. I mean, Kane was probably down the picking order, but, you know, he stepped up and he gave us everything that he had, and then you go right throughout the whole team, and we've got such a quality team. but. As our challenge is, it's often not about having your best players available because we really only had that for two or three games of the season. It's about the players getting out there and, um, and performing and, and trusting each other to do that. And is, is there anyone that's perhaps a bit less familiar to you that's maybe surprised you along the way this season? Yep, lots of surprises along the way, which is uh, really good, like not knowing any of the lads. Um, so when we selected Zach Mercer, I didn't realise he'd never played, um, but he showed, you know, to be voted Young Player of the Year is a, is a great testament to him. Um, Tom Ellis is another mover, I reckon. I reckon he's really moved up the ranks and he's on the verge of playing for England. Charlie Eels is an exceptional leader. Um, you know, I go for uh, Tom Dunn. You know, I think it was his first start this year. But I think we've got a really good. I think what I'm really most pleased with is that well, while we, we're not the finished article, we never will be. We've actually got a really young squad, like our squad is really young and we're showing that we can foot it uh, with anyone in this competition on any given day. So by keeping the squad together it means that we're going to develop as a squad together and we can only get better. And uh, we've, we've got new signings coming in next year with likes of Freddie Burns and Sam Underhill. Uh, just what are you expecting them to, to bring to the side uh, come come September and 4th? Yeah, competition, fight for places. I mean, you know, Freddie has had a great season for Leicester. I think he was voted there Supporters Club Player of the Year or, or Players Player of the Year, which is great. It creates competition. So if you often the best weeks are when you can prepare the very best. You can only do that when you've got genuine competition. So I think for us, I think having the best quality players in our in our environment, training against each other, making each other better every single day is only going to transfer to, you know, to Bath playing better. And with that added competition, what are your general hopes for the side um, next season? Well, I think we've got um, a great opportunity. I think on the back of where we've been, I think this, the general feeling from within is that we're really disappointed. We felt we feel like we've underachieved, yet yeah, but really hungry for success, um, and that's very aligned to the off-field ambition of the club as well so we want to be making progress here so I think it's really exciting going forward.